It's time for everyone's new favorite game show live here at Shippensburg University. It's time for Pass or Fail. And here's your host, Adam B. Hello, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to Pass or Fail. I know it's been a while since you've seen us, spring break and all that, but we are officially back, and we will be back every week, so definitely stay tuned for that. But to welcome us back, boy, do we have a great show for you here today. Joining us here to my right, we have the Asian American Pacific Islanders Organization, or APIO. Yes, yeah, give them a round of applause there. And then to my left, we have the Page Center. Yes, so we truly have a great show here for you tonight. But if this is your first time joining us, then here's a quick rundown of how we play the game. In Pass or Fail, two student groups will compete head-to-head -head in a series of trivia questions. The goal? Be the first team to have the most points by the time the board is cleared. In the event of a tie, or if the host is feeling extra villainous that day, the two teams will then move on to a lightning round series of trivia questions. Keep in mind, if your team rings in before the question is done being asked by your handsome host, then that team will lose their turn. Other than that, everything is fair game. So, now it's time to see who will pass or fail. And we are back. So, everybody knows how to play the game. At the top of the hour here, it was the Page Center that won the Rock, Paper, Scissors. So, they will get to pick the first category. As you know, the categories are movies, TV shows, video games, sports, history, and music. And that is 200 through 1,000. So, what would you like to pick for your first category? Oh, Apio, you won. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> I am so sorry, I am so I sorry. I could have the speech, you know? I am so sorry, yeah, you let me give that whole speech. <laughs> uh, well, my apologies. Apio, you get to pick the first category. Apio, what would you like? Once again, the categories are movies, TV shows, video games, sports, history, and music. Vid video games for 200. Video games for 200, all right. Let's see, video games for 200, what do we have? Nickname King Koopa, who is the arch nemesis of Mario? Page Center. Bowser. That is correct, Page Center, you are officially on the board, and them. you will get to pick the them. next category, Page Center, what would you like? I'll do music, right, is a category. Yes, music is a category. Uh, I'll do music for 200. Music for 200, let's see what we got. A Hard Day's Night is a film soundtrack by which band? Page Center. The Beatles? That is correct. Music. <laughs> it's All right, Page Center, you get to pick again. What would you like? Um, can we do video games for 300? Uh, video games for four. We have video games for oh, 400. I always do that. 400. Yeah. Video games for 400. Let's anymore. see what we have. Oh, yeah, you're right. The first game in the Call of Duty series was released in what year? Apio, what would you like? 2001. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Page Center, your chance to steal. I'm going to go 2011. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer is 2003. 2003, so that is no one's point. But Page Center, you scored last, so you get to pick the next category. What would you like? Uh, let's do history for 100. Hi History 200. for 200. It's okay. It's all right. History for 200. Who was Ronald Reagan's uh, vice president who later became a one-term president himself? So he was the president right after Ronald Reagan. <coughs> Due to the silence, I feel... I'll, I'll throw in a little clue. His son would later become president himself. <laughs> Page Center. Don't make fun of me if I'm wrong, okay? John F. Kennedy? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Okay, Apio, I'm your a psych chance major. To steal. It's okay. Take a bush. I don't, I don't really know. He's hovering over that bell. It's all Ten seconds, Apio. George Bush. 
I'm going to let you have it. Technically, George H.W. Bush, but oh, okay. since yeah. you said since you didn't say George W. Bush, you just said George Bush, I will allow Dude. it. So, Apio, <laughs> you are on the board. Mm. Apio. Mm. That was a pity point. Pity point. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we well, got Apio, with your pity point, you get to pick the next category. Apio, what would you like? Oh, is he going for video games? <laughs> I'm scared of these girls' video games. <laughs> I play some video games. I mean, I did we do 600 for video games no, already? No, video games for 600 has not been taken. Video games 600. Video games for 600. What Nintendo 64 game's final boss is Master Hand? Theo's thinking. He, oh, he's he's inching towards that bell. Does he have it? I do not have it. Oh. <laughs> Can we get a little a little hint? <laughs> it is <laughs> not just the game is not just exclusive to the Nintendo sixty four. It has had many sequels. If that helps. And the final all. boss is Master, Master Hand. Is Master Hand. It's not Wednesday? Nintendo exclusive. <laughs> So it could have been on Xbox or PlayStation. I didn't say that. I never said it wasn't a Nintendo exclusive. It's just not exclusive to just the Nintendo 64. I got all the brain busters here today. I'm gonna put that out. I had like a Nintendo DS. Any guesses from the panels? Ten seconds. (coughs) No. I'm speechless. I'm sorry, nobody gets the point there. The correct answer was Super Smash Brothers. Super oh Smash Brothers. Uh, I'm dropping that. Uh, sometimes I forget that has a storyline. <laughs> it is quite all right. It is quite all right. Uh, Apio, you scored last. You still get to pick the next category. What would you like? That well? I, I guess. This is, uh, wait, it's still 800, bro. Yes, video games. Oh, 800 and 1,000 are still available. Video games for 800. Video games for 800. Let's see what we have. Slippy Toad and Peppy Hair are characters in what video game <laughs> franchise? <laughs> to provide a hint, they these characters do appear in Super Smash Brothers. Um, so by franchise, you mean like the game name, or do you mean game name? That's not the game names. Ooh, the silence is deafening. I picked some. Real good questions here today. This is going to be a close game. I can already tell. Oh, excitement. Oh, the thrill. Ten seconds. Oh, Apio. Um, I'm going to use my context clues and guess Frogger. I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Page Center, you have a chance to steal. What would you, what do you think? What are we thinking? Any guesses? Nintendo has five boss names. I'm not going to say that. Okay. No. No guesses? All right. The correct answer is Star Fox. Star yeah. Fox <laughs> is the correct answer. Keep choosing video games. Is they're all good. Darn. <laughs> all right. Darn. Now, Apio, you still get to pick a thousand <laughs> points for video games. We're already going to close out the video game category. Do you want to finish it off? Yes. All right. Oh my gosh. Video games for a thousand. Where can armor and health be restored without the use of medication in Fortnite? <laughs> Apio, that you rung in first. Without the use of medication? Without the use of medication. Can I use like a chug jug? Is that, is that medication or? Mm, if you're in this called, location. Oh, you know, there's um, like a okay. place you okay. can go to. Um, do you know what season of Fortnite, Fortnite, what chapter of Fortnite? <laughs> oh, I don't have I swear, those I swear. details. Because the map changes all the time. <laughs> I, I really couldn't tell you. Um, mm, damn, that's hard. Because like, I don't know what you're counting as medication in this game, because there's a lot that can heal you. <clears throat> Where can armor and health be restored without the use of medication in Fortnite? Why are we, already, we both already wrong. <laughs> wrong it, wrong it. Yeah. Oh, wait. We Obvio. had to bring it again? Uh, they didn't ring in. Oh. They didn't ring in. They were I just. Did. They were just kind of. Oh, did no, you? they. I they did both rang. Oh, oh yeah, then I need a guess from you guys. My apologies. Oh. You're good. You're good. I, was like, I might know this. What well, the same difference is a like a shield. So no shield potions, no bandages. No. Ten seconds. No. Good. He, he, said said chug chug. Chug. he said chug jug. He said chug jug earlier. Location. Um. 
the would it be that big tree? Time's up. What's your guess? Uh, the only location I can remember is Sloppy Shores. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Page Center, your chance to steal um, for 1,000 points. I'm going to be honest, I don't know the exact name of it, but I can describe it. I'm going to need a name. OK. <laughs> um, I know there's a location you can go to. Um, you grab like a card or something, you bring it to the location, it like restores you. Restoration. Station. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The video game category is now gone. The correct answer was Slurpy Swamp. Oh, you were oh. so close. Oh, I, I know, I felt bad because you were so close, swamp. but Slurpy Swamp. Is that a swamp. new update? Is that the one with the big tree? I, to be honest, <laughs> I've only recently started playing Fortnite. I'm more of an Overwatch Nerd. person. No. I play Overwatch, who do you mean as? I like the yellow robot. <laughs> I don't. I don't you know. know the There's names? too many characters. I can't keep track of the names. I, I like Diva. I was gonna say I play Diva. I like the yellow robot one. <laughs> I, that, I, 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 what, what's, sure. the, what's the gorilla one? I like that. Uh, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. We'll okay. discuss later. Apio, you still <laughs> technically scored last. Video games is now gone. Oh, sports now. That was sad. What would you like to move on to? What is Sports 200 available? Sports 200 is available. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, sports for 200. <laughs> FIFA is the regulatory body of which sport? <laughs> Page Center. Soccer. That is correct. <laughs> that was pretty easy. All right, Page Center, you get to pick that. the next category. What would you like? Um, you can you pick. Music, 200. Music for 200 has already been taken. Then 400. Music for 400, then. Which disco singer popularized I Will Survive? To sing it. First, I was afraid. I, I was petrified. petrified. Kept There's thinking something, that. something, something else. <laughs> without you by my side. side. And something else. That's a woman, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. Oh okay. So this was my anthem when I got broken up. Second, you be back to bother me. Now go on and go. I think Donna from so Mama Mia might be. So I don't have to keep, you don't doing have to keep this singing. silly little dance. Why am I thinking? So no, please ring in. Can we get a, can we get a first letter? If not, that's okay. Both of her, okay. I will give a hint. Her first name and last name both begin with a G. Clue. Ten seconds. Page center. Gloria. Name. Full name. Hey, you took George Bush. <laughs> That's bad. That was a first and last name. But yeah, but not the middle initial. Mm, I'm feeling some host The hostility continues. I'm what do you mean? This is the first time we've You're done right. This. this is the first time that both of these teams Does have competed. Does it say first and last name on the question? It says what... Uh, well, there's other, there's lots of artists, artists named Gloria. Gloria. Just give us a clue. Oh, I can't, I can't in good Gloria. conscience do it, I'm sorry. Can I have five more seconds? Five more seconds. Gloria. All I can think of is Gloria. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Apio, any guesses? If it's a G last name. Mm, do you know how many syllables are in the last name? <laughs> 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 not being into the syllables and everything. Uh, Any final guesses? Ten seconds. It's a no-go for me, unless Cam wants to guess a last name. Oh. Time's up. Final guess. Gloria, Georgia. I don't know. If I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That is incorrect. The correct answer was Gloria Gaynor. Give us the point. No. Why? Gloria Gaynor. That's messed up. But Page Center, you did score last, so you still get to pick the next category. What yeah, would you still like? Yeah, we're still the first time. Let's still do it. Music for 600. Music for 600. I'm a little scared now. Lady Marmalade was written for which 2001 musical? For last. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Um, Apio, your chance to steal. Oh, watch musicals? I only know Les Mis. 
the Adams family? You're dating a theater girl, Kim. You gotta know these things. What the I have the answer. I'm sorry, Paige Center. You, you just wanna like <clears throat> pass it this way and then we'll, we'll let you have another. Attempt. It's hairspray. But for real? <laughs> <laughs> Apio, 10 seconds. Any guesses? That's what I think it is. Little Shop of Horrors. This is completely wrong. The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> 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 I am sorry. That is incorrect. Judy Garland does not start singing Lady Marmalade. I'm afraid that is from the musical Moulin Rouge. Moulin that Rouge was, was, was the that correct the answer? answer. She did say it to me right after the answer. All right, Paige Center, you still I'm get, not feeling you still confident. Still last. You no, the next category. do 800. Okay. It's a very close game here right now. Music for 800. Music for 800. <laughs> Which Mariah Carey song stayed at number one for 16 weeks on the U.S. charts? Oh, <gasps> I'm no. sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Paige Center. You rung in before I, I finished asking the question. It's okay. It's okay. I got a little excited. It's okay. Hmm? It's all right. It's all right. Apio, you will have a chance to steal, but you gotta be quick. I don't even know if this is Mariah Carey, to be honest, and I don't know. If it's oh, will a lyric count as an answer? <laughs> no. Oh, Lord. Oh, okay. <laughs> the song, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're trying to find a lot of loopholes here today to getting the right answer. I'm just saying. I like Alicia Keys. <laughs> so. I don't think, I think that's sorry, we're not looking for Mariah so. Carey, I don't listen to that lady. 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Can the page send us still answer? They won't get the points, but if they want to still put in their guess, I'm afraid, Apio, you won't get the point either. But you Pace Center, you seemed yeah. so excited. What was your guess? Wait, all I want for Christmas is you. I'm sorry, that oh, was okay, incorrect. Okay, I was wrong anyway. I don't feel bad. And Apio, you ran out of time. <laughs> so the correct answer was one sweet day. One sweet day. I know. I know. Valid. I also would have guessed all I want for Christmas is you, because that's the only Mariah Carey song I know. <laughs> she's making that money year round. Exactly. <laughs> she's she's frozen in the ice right now, but she'll thaw out come November. <laughs> All right. So, Paid Center, you still scored last. You still get to pick the next category. Do you want to finish off music with 1,000? End this misery. <laughs> yeah, end this misery. We'll do it. All right. Music for 1,000. The final music question here. Ave Maria is composed by whom? You're evil. You're an evil man. <laughs> what I, is we this? literally say it in the intro, I am the devil incarnate. That's why I chose a reddish color. But yes, Ave Maria is composed by whom? What is this question? Who who knows? <laughs> a thousand this? Po- it's a thousand points. You gotta make it the hardest question. You know, so you get so people aren't just getting the thousand points all willy-nilly. Apio, you're hovering over the bell. <laughs> <laughs> No, the answer. way it's worded, you say compose, so is it? Who composed Ave Maria? Like, so who, like, like who just instrumental? It? Like who wrote is the music, like who composed the music of Ave Maria? Is this a song? Yeah. Is this <laughs> a, what I meant. Like, no, like with like, words? Like, yeah, Ave that's what I meant. Yeah. That one. Not who performed it, Specifically. who composed the music. Any guesses? This is where I clock out. Beethoven. I'm sorry that is incorrect, <laughs> Ave Maria. Bro. Any guesses? No. Juice no. World? No. <laughs> Can I guess again? <laughs> no, I'm Just sorry. I like this guy's name. I'm sorry. Wolf. The music category is now gone, and the correct answer was Franz Schubert. Oh, this game is so Franz much worse Schubert. Than I know, yeah. that very common household name, Franz Schubert. Everybody knows. Hey, How come you ain't know that? <laughs> I, I was All right, so before. music and video games are now gone. Page okay. Center, you get to pick the next category. Keep in mind, there was currently only 400 points between our teams here, and neither have broken 1,000 <laughs> points yet. So it is still anybody's game. Page Center, where would you like to send us off to next? TV. TV is untouched, so what would you like from TV? I'll do 200. TV I'm for 200. Safe. Let's see. In what fictional town, Indiana town, is Stranger I Things set? Ooh. Page Hopper. Center. Hawkins. That is correct. Oh, oh, Hopper is so fine. I do, but I don't know <laughs> that. He is. Yeah, he's a fine man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He makes people with dad bods like me proud to have dad bods. So we appreciate it. All right, TV for 200 has been taken. Page Center, you scored last. What would you like? TV for 600. TV for 600. 
What is Stan Pine's relation to Dipper and Mabel's in the Disney series Gravity Falls? Apio. He's their gr uh, great uncle. That is Yay! correct, Apio. Has finally broken That's the crack the They're That's now the on the board. <laughs> Apio, you score. I haven't watched that in You so get to long. pick the next category. <laughs> what would you like? TV for 400. TV for 400. In what beloved series does a mysterious host named Rod Serling tell stories of a weird dimension in time? Apio. I know the show. I can't think of the name right now. Help me. <laughs> oh, why'd you ring the bell then? Because it's stopping them. Okay, okay. Um, mm. Right on Sterling. Apio, you already know. Right What's your guess? Twilight Zone. That is correct. Oh. Boom! <laughs> All right, Apio, uh, you get to pick the next category. What would you like next? TV for 800. TV for 800. All right, we're burning through categories here today. Name the three oh. Belcher children from Bob's Burgers. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Don't <laughs> break the bell. We only have the two. Apio. Louise. That's one. Jean. That's two. Give me a second. One, help me. I want to keep the suspenders on. <laughs> 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 and, uh, I don't want to. Give me, please. This is my time, like I know this. Ten seconds. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you stress it out. Do it for Jenna. You were saying. The win streak up. Five seconds. Final guess. It's okay. There's no one, guess. So no ah, one saw it. Sorry, Apio. Page Center, your chance to steal. Louise, Jean, Jean and, and Tommy. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The correct answer was I'm, I'm going to prepare you, Cam, because I feel like you're going to really slap yourself. I was going to say Jean, Bob. Louise, and Tina. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna have such a fun time editing this episode. Oh, Tina's what a great time. <laughs> That's a big bleep yeah. right there. Oh, big bleep. Bleep, bleep ever the past like minute. He needed to scream, it's okay. <laughs> he, needed, he, need, he needed a minute. Oh, I'm so Ooh. sorry, Apio, but Apio, you did score last, so you get to pick the next category. Currently, there's only one, only a thousand left in TV. Do you want to finish off TV? Yes. All right, we're gonna finish off TV here. TV for 1,000. The show, this show holds the record for the most Emmy wins in history. Apio. You gotta be useful. Like, come on. <laughs> um, I think Just don't say it out loud. So. It's probably a TV show. <laughs> Get him off the stage. <laughs> Can we get a genre? It is comedy. It is a comedy show. Oh. Is it Emmy is wins? Emmy wins. The most Emmy wins in history. Friends? I'm sorry, that is incorrect, Page Center. Any guesses? I don't know why, it just feels right. Ten seconds. Don't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hide behind my phone. Do you want to rock now. paper scissors for it? Sure. Modern Family. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Was it The Office? No, the correct okay, answer <laughs> was Saturday Night Live. Uh, Saturday uh, Night Live. I wouldn't. Uh, Ew. Yeah, Saturday Night Live. So television, video games, music are now gone, and we are pretty much halfway through the board here now, so we are gonna take a quick commercial break, so we'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. If you're looking for a way to get involved and inform the community, Student Media is the place to be. With SHIP's award-winning newspaper, The Slate, Emmy-winning television station, SUTV, Campus Radio Station 88.7 WSYC, and Public Relations Society, PRSSA, no matter what you're interested in, Student Media has something for you. Visit the second floor of the Cub or Roland Hall for more information. This is a public service message from SUTV.
Welcome back. So hopefully the audio for me is a lot better because I'm a bit of an idiot and was holding the mic the wrong way. But you know, that's show business for you. What can you do? Anyways, we are back. So currently we don't have the points tallied, but it is still an incredibly close game. Apio, you were the last to score. So you get to pick the next category. As a reminder to what is available, sports and history for 400 through 1,000 are still available. And the movies category has not been touched. So, what would you like next? I'm really making sure that my mic is not being held the wrong way, but Apio, what would you like next? We'll be taking sports for 400, please. Sports for 400, all right, let's see what we got. The 49ers, Sharks, and... (gasps) No, my biggest slip! (laughs) I am so sorry, Apio. I know how it feels now, Theo. It's going to be okay. (laughs) I'm going to finish asking the question, and then Page Center, you will have the chance to steal. So the 49ers, Sharks, and Warriors are the professional sports teams of which state? Do I still have to ring? If you want. Page Center. California. Yeah, I, that is correct. I was yes. like, that you is that face? sorry for a second. I, for a second, I was like San Francisco. Well, my no, that's not. I a was state. about to say San Francisco, and then that's I was like, we wouldn't California. have got the point. Yes, yes. that is correct. Oh, Page Center, that's four hundred points to you. Oh, you get yeah. to pick the next category. What would you like? Movies for two hundred. Movies for two hundred. Finally tapping into the movies category. In what movie does Jack Nicholson tell Tom Cruise, "You can't handle the truth." Yeah, not really like Tom Cruise. Oh uh, yeah, like I, I know the saying, I just don't know what that. Give us a hint. Ooh, Jack Nicholson. What? It is a '90s movie. Are they on a boat? Give us a better hint. One that will be helpful. Can you tell me what he's in? Like where the. <laughs> when they give it away. No, I mean like is. what Jack Nicholson, <laughs> what he's played in, because I don't know who he is. Jack Nichol- uh The Shining. Okay. Okay. He's the dude from The Shining. Oh, that guy. And these are the I'm movies that I'm now putting on screen. Sorry, I sometimes have to give my editing notes to myself from the future. And the setting is on a cruise, you said? Uh, no, no Tom it Cruise. stars Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, when the, the, when setting, the question goes away. I will, I will away. give another hint. It's set in a courtroom. Oh. The film is centered around a trial. <coughs> Any guesses? Hmm. And this is the 200 you question. Say? You don't got it. Oh, right? no. Got it. Okay. Apio. Judge Judy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that episode, but I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Page Center, do you want to steal? Do you know this? Page no, Center. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I'm sorry. That's incorrect. The correct Damn. answer is a few good men. Yeah. I had men. You know what I mean? You do like, A few good men. <laughs> 12 Angry Men would have been a good guess. Like, oh, but it would have been right. Like, neither one of them was in that movie, but it still would have been a good guess. It, it was closer just than like Judge George Judy. Bush. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think Judge Judy was really close. <laughs> All right. Uh, Page Center, you scored last. You get to pick the next category. The next movie one. Movies for 400, then. Let's see what we got. Who don't you put in a corner in the 1987 film Dirty Dancing? Page Center. Baby. That is correct. <laughs> Nobody it puts is, is baby in a corner. So, Page Center, you scored. Baby. What would you like next? <laughs> uh, next movie one. Let's do it. Movies for 600. What was the name of Bong Joon Ho's 2020 Best Picture winner? Apio. Oh my God. <laughs> I still get a chance to guess. Squid Games. No. No, no, no. Mean, though. Uh, Stranger Things. Yes, I actually think it's yeah. Parasite. That is correct. Six hundred to Apio. Apio, you get to pick the next category. Yeah. Next one is sports. Uh, sports for six hundred. Then sports for six hundred. A Scottish king banned which sport because he thought it was distracting from archery. <laughs> this is a sport that's around today. But a Scottish king banned it because it was distracting from archery. Like, it was it more popular, and he was it was upset? becoming more popular, and he was worried it would distract from archery, so it was banned in Scotland. 
it's currently still running? It is a currently still very popular sport. Oh, it's a very popular sport. Well, very popular to to some, others do not. Well, but that's, that's sports for you. I'm trying to be vague without giving it away. Can you give us like a, a country uh, that it's not in? <laughs> a country that it's not in? Yes. I, I, I don't, I don't know. You know, like how like soccer is here that. in the United States, but it's not really it's big it's here. What? But like it's big in like Europe. Is it similar to archery? Okay, so I think this, I feel like this hint will probably help a bit. Um, I'm willing to help out just so we can get some more points on the board. It is a sport that is very popular with dads. Oppio. What? <laughs> Often considered dad a dad lived. kind of sport. Baseball? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Page center. Golf? That is correct. What the <laughs> <laughs> Golf was back. That's a, that was a good one. Yeah. I like that. I appreciate it. Page center. Yeah, she was that's right 600 on points it. to you. Yeah, I said that you the get to pick the next category. <laughs> what would you like? Back to movies? Back to yeah. movies? All right. Let's watch some more movies. Movies for 800. Yeah. All right. Movies for 800. Arnold Schwarzenegger has appeared in all but one of the Terminator films. Which one? <gasps> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, dude, I'm gonna have that bleep sound effect on standby. Like, I, I, that oh whole, whole timeline is gonna be the bleep angry. sound effect. Either that or it's gonna be the TikTok <laughs> boom sound effect. I'm just gonna throw it in here for fun. Anyways, so I'm gonna finish ask. I'm gonna the read TikTok ask the question board. for the page center since you will have a chance. No, Arnold Schwarzenegger has appeared in all but one of the Terminator films. Which one was it? How many films are there? There are currently six. Do you have to say the name of the film to clarify that? Yes, you have to say the name of the film that's, that's that he did not appear you're in. You're being vindictive. <laughs> you must you must have, because you ringed in so that was clear. Why did I miss it? I'm a big Arnold fan. So then it's time to come back for the last one. Although I don't know the name of it. Ten seconds. You don't know. No. Any guesses? I'm going with the, um, the Terminator 5. That's what I was going to say. The one before the last Terminator 6. I'm sorry. Terminator 5. That is incorrect. The correct answer was Terminator <laughs> Salvation, which is technically Terminator 4, but it's also a prequel. Or no, it's a, no, it is a sequel. Or no, it's a prequel. It's a prequel, technically, because it takes place in the future, but then they go back to the past. That's the Terminator what I said, franchise man. Terminator franchise is confusing, and it hurts my head. So we're just going to keep moseying on along here. Terminator 5. The page center, they put the it explains what happens the before the, exactly. the uh, Terminator gets sent back to the past. If we're to trying to figure the out the timeline of the Terminator franchise, we are going to be here all day. So, Page Center, you get to pick the next category. Here's what we have left. There's not too many left. Movies for a thousand is available. Sports eight hundred to a thousand is available, and then history for four hundred, six hundred, eight hundred, and a thousand are left. So let's do history for 400. History for 400. Let's see what we have. Which U.S. city was warned by Paul Revere that the British are coming? Oppio. Uh, that is correct. <laughs> Oppio, you're back it's in okay, this year. Okay. And you awesome. get to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I could cry right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> so my bad. How dare he hit his butt? Oppio, you get to pick the next category. Right. What would you like? I didn't know Next time, we'll next one in history. Yeah, All right, history for 600. Let's see. Name the painter of the piece, The Scream. <gasps> Page Center, you <laughs> rung in after the question. Page Center, what's the answer? Munch. That is correct. I would have got it wrong anyway. His name is Munch. His name is Munch. Yeah, but I would have got it wrong anyway. Edward. Edward Munch. All right. Oh, Page Center, you get to pick the next category. Oh, no. Okay. Let's keep going. Movies for a thousand. Movies for a thousand. Movies for a thousand. All right. Movies category is officially gone. Don't answer the phone. Don't open the door. Don't try to escape is the tagline of what horror film? Page Center. <laughs> Scream. That is correct. Yeah. All right. I've only watched one of those, but I knew that. No, Surprisingly. No, no, no. Oh, no one's lost yet. The la there's only four questions left, but they're high-scoring questions. We so, we still anybody's game. All right. He's S lying to you. Yeah, Page I'm Center, you <laughs> scored last. History. I'm trying to be a nice host, okay? <laughs> I don't want to crush anyone's spirits. Page Center, you get to pick the next category. History it, for 600? Uh, history for 600 has already been taken. Let's history keep going for, up. All right, history for 800. All right. 
1979 Three Mile Island disaster took place in which state? Oh, man, Apio. PA. That is correct. Yeah. Thank you, Jenna. I love you. I only knew that because of you. <laughs> That one, you didn't get it right. Okay on that one. That was in Three Harrisburg, right? Three questions really? remaining. I'm pretty sure it was in Harrisburg. Mm -hmm. Three questions remaining. So, Apio, what would you like? Next one in history, please. All right, history for <laughs> a thousand. History <laughs> is history officially gone. <laughs> the first Take Back the Night March took place in which U.S. city? <laughs> Page Center. New York City? I'm sorry, that's oh. incorrect. That's embarrassing. I work Apio. <laughs> Louisiana. I'm Bro, sorry, what? that is that you been to Louisiana? Bro. Bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> <so Wait. laughs> that that was an answer. I'm sorry, he Wait. said it. He said it. More of an answer. Isn't that an answer? I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> that was the best oh, answer the entire time. I'm not going to give you points, but I'm still going to let you guess because Cam, you seem pretty confident. Cam, I'm not confident, but at least I want to give a city. <laughs> down in Louisiana? You think well, they do what, that what, down there? What, 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 what San it? Francisco. That is correct. <laughs> 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 How did you know that off the top of your head? Cam's an ally. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. W Cam, you know more than us. Which, speaking of Take Back the Night, when the Page Center holds that event later on this semester, everyone should go to it. It's a very important event. It's a very good event. Okay, but now history is gone. Only two questions ten. remain. Oh, Only two questions scored. remain on the board. Oh. Neither team scored. So I'm just going to ask sports for 800 and then sports for 1,000. So we're going to start sports for 800. Pugilism, I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that right, is another name which? for which sports? Page Center. Rugby. That is incorrect. I am sorry. That is incorrect. That's not right. Puggle? Page Center? That's not a pug. Yeah, it is not a pug. Oh, it's a pug. Sport hockey, that's just as mine goes. Soccer. Football. Baseball. Wrestling. Gymnastics. Cricket. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer is boxing. What? <laughs> the correct I'm answer is boxing. Again, I might have been mispronouncing it. Pugilism? Pugilism? I don't like it. Who cares? There's only like one the question the left on the board. Sports for 1,000. <laughs> this is. Wait, Tanya so Harding became infamous when she was accused of sabotaging this skating rival. Everyone remembers Tanya Harding, but who here remembers the name of the person whose kneecaps she busted? Allegedly. 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 She skated see, again. I didn't see the movie. It is a good movie. I recommend. I know. It. Yeah, I know Tanya Harding. But who? Was I know Gabby the Douglas. That is a good. Who's that's not gonna help me. <laughs> she sabotaged <laughs> allegedly. What'd you say? Allegedly. She is. That's what I'm saying. I don't really know much about the Olympics. Any guesses to finish us off here? Are we talking like, I know skateboarding is an Olympic sport now. No. Ice, no. I, 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 Are no, we giving also. real answers right now? Do you know? <laughs> Can we get a letter? N. The initials NK. Mm. Page Center. Natalie. Is it this, did I get the first name right? No, you did not. Okay, I'm done then. Okay. <laughs> Apio, <laughs> I was final like, guess, maybe. final guess. Nancy? <laughs> Nancy Drew. I don't even know Nancy Pelosi. Don't, don't look at me. It was not Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> <laughs> that was an answer. That was no. Nancy Knight? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The final answer was Nancy Kerrigan. Nancy Kerrigan was oh the my. final answer. Oh. So. We are going to take a quick commercial break here to tally up the points. If you've been keeping track at home, you might already know, but who knows? I'm not good at math, so we're going to add it up here quick, and we'll be right back after these messages. Stay tuned. Here at Multicultural Student Affairs, we value every student. No matter your race or ethnicity, you are guaranteed a home here. MSA offers many resources, a place to study, a place to meditate, 
a place to socialize, or a safe place to communicate issues or talk with a faculty member. Come down to Gilbert Hall today and join our family. Our roots run deep. Why not grow together? This is a public service announcement from MSA. And we are back. So it was a well fought game from both teams. Both had some good answers, both had some answers. Uh, but alas, someone must pass and someone must fail. Coming in at second place and our failures of the night, Apio, I'm so sorry. With only 3,000 points, you are tonight's losers again. I'm sorry. You put in a good game. Good thing it's off today. And then. <laughs> Beating Apio with eight hundred by eight hundred points with thirty eight hundred points, Page Center. Congratulations, you are tonight's big winners of Pass or Fail. And you so if you are a student group that would be interested in competing in Pass or Fail, you can reach out to us at Shippensburg University TV at gmail.com or try and find me here on campus. But that is going to do it for Pass or Fail tonight. I want to thank once again our guests for coming out. Let's give them all a round of applause. And thank you for tuning in. We'll be back next Sunday. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>